Hi guys, it is a gorgeous summer day in October here uh, in the end times. It is Friday, October 15th, 2021, I believe, halfway through October, good Lord. And uh, now that I am back from my little trip away from the Doomosphere and back on this box, catching up on some missed reading uh, you know I need to uh, get over there to that other channel that eco pussy Sam Mitchell has to get over there to collapse Chronicles and do our manga Bay roundup rant uh, but before we head over there as long as we're over here we're just going to keep poking the rattlesnake at Humpty Dumpty tribe and cannot remember, I'm sorry, the uh, Alert Tribes member who sent me this excellent piece from this excellent website called Dissident Voice. Dissident Voice, which describes itself as a radical newsletter in the struggle for peace and social justice. So this is a radical lefty social justice warrior. Uh, news site. Uh, there are such things as radical lefty uh, snowflakes. I might even be one myself, so uh, this is not, uh, you don't think of dissident voice uh, usually representing Trump tards and right-wing conspiracy wackos and whatnot. Thank you, dissident voice for sending out this breath of fresh air from the left as we start to uh, disabuse anyone thinking that anti-maskers and people who choose not to get the corona panic vaccine are a bunch of right-wing conspiracy wacko Trump tards. We're gonna hear from a fellow named C.J. Hopkins uh, author of this interesting looking book called Zone 23. And this is C.J. Hopkins' view on the great new normal purge. Thank you. This is some of the most intelligent uh, commentary I have heard about the subject of making people who you know, have the same amount of evidence as anybody. Well, not exactly, because you can only find half of the evidence on the corporate-controlled mainstream media. But people who uh, have studied the issue uh, and the information and decided for whatever reason, for whatever reason, to exercise whatever rights they have as an American not to get the corona panic vaccine for whatever reason that might be <clears throat> and uh, I am not an anti-vaxxer I'm not sure that CJ Hopkins is uh, just talking about how those people you, you, you know are, are the new public enemy number one take it away CJ Hopkins the great new normal purge so the great new normal purge has begun right on cue, right by the numbers. <clears throat> as, w as we, quote, paranoid conspiracy theorists have been warning would happen for the past 18 months, people who refuse to convert to the new official ideology are now being segregated, stripped of their jobs, banned from attending schools, denied medical treatment, and otherwise persecuted. <clears throat> Relentless official propaganda demonizing, quote, the unvaccinated is being pumped out by the corporate and state media, government leaders, health officials, and shrieking fanatics on social media. <clears throat> the unvaccinated are the new official 
untermenschen, untermenschen, an underclass of subhuman others, the new normal masses are being conditioned to hate. You can see the hatred and the new normal's eyes, but it isn't just a purge of the unvaccinated. <clears throat> anyone, anyone deviating from the official ideology is being systematically demonized and persecuted. In Germany, Australia, and other new normal countries, protesting the new normal is officially outlawed. The new normal Gestapo is going around to people's homes to interrogate them about their anti-new normal Facebook post. Corporations are openly censoring content that contradicts the official narrative. New normal goon squads roam the streets checking people's vaccination papers. And every one of those sentences, <clears throat> CJ links to uh, news stories talking about this. Every one of those. Anybody claiming this is some paranoid, schizophrenic, right-wing, Trump-tard conspiracy wacko can go on this story and click on uh, all of those links to find out uh, how the new normal purge is unfolding. <clears throat> And it's not just governments and corporations carrying out the new normal purge. Friends are purging friends. Wives are purging husbands. Fathers are purging children. Children are purging parents. New normals are purging old normal thoughts. Global health authorities are revising definitions to make them conform to new normal science. And then he has links to that. Uh, and so on. A new official reality is being manufactured right before our eyes. Anything and anyone that does not conform to it is being purged, unpersoned, memory hold, erased. None of which should come as a surprise. Every nascent totalitarian system at some stage of its takeover of society launches a purge of political opponents, ideological dissonance, and other antisocial deviants. Such purges <coughs> can be brief or open-ended, and they can take any number of outward forms depending on the type of totalitarian system, but you cannot have totalitarianism without them. The essence of totalitarianism, regardless of which costumes and ideology it wears, is a desire to completely control society. Every aspect of society, every individual behavior and thought Every totalitarian system, whether an entire nation, a tiny cult, or any other form of social body evolves around this unachievable goal. The total ideological transformation and control of every single element of society or whatever type of social body it comprises. This fanatical pursuit of total control, absolute 
ideological uniformity and the elimination of all dissent is what makes totalitarianism totalitarianism. Thus, each new totalitarian system at some point in its evolution needs to launch a purge of those who refuse to conform to its official ideology. It needs to do this for two basic reasons. One, to segregate or otherwise eliminate actual political opponents and dissidents who pose a threat to the new regime, and number two, and more importantly, to establish the ideological territory within which the masses must now confine themselves in order to avoid being segregated or eliminated. The purge must be conducted openly, brutally, so that the masses understand that the rules of society have changed forever, that their former rights and freedoms are gone, and that from now on, any type of resistance or deviation from official ideology will not be tolerated and will be ruthlessly punished. The purge is usually launched during a quote, state of emergency under imminent threat from an official enemy, such as communist infiltrators, counter revolutionaries, or you know, a devastating pandemic, which is, what is the devastating pandemic? I think the devastating pandemic, what are we up to? 0.03% of the planet, <clears throat> the devastating pandemic, such that the normal rules of society can be indefinitely suspended, quote, for the sake of survival. <clears throat> The more terrified the masses can be made, the more willing they will be to surrender their freedoms and follow orders, no matter how insane. Hmm. <clears throat> the lifeblood of totalitarianism is fear. Fear of both the system's official enemy, which is constantly stoked with propaganda, and of the totalitarian system itself, that the brutality of the system is rationalized by the threat posed by the official enemy does not make it any less brutal or terrifying. Under totalitarian systems of any type or scale, fear is a constant and there is no escape from it. <clears throat> the masses' fear is then channeled into hatred, hatred of the official Untermenschen, whom the system encourages the masses to scapegoat. Thus, the purge is also a means of allowing the masses to purge themselves of their fear, to transform their fear into self-righteous hatred and unleash it on the Untermenschen instead of the totalitarian system, which obviously would be suicidal. Yes, every totalitarian system, both the individuals running it and the system structurally, instinctively understands how 
all of this works. New normal totalitarianism is no exception. Just reflect on what has happened in the last 18 months. Day after day, month after month, the masses have been subjected to the most destructive psychological terror campaign in the history of psychological terror. Sadly, many of them have been reduced to paranoid, anus-puckering invalids, afraid of the outdoors, of human contact, afraid of their own children, afraid of the air, morbidly obsessed with disease and death, and consumed with hatred of the un- vaccinated. Dun, 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 dun. Their hatred, of course, is utterly irrational. The product of fear and propaganda as hatred of the Untermenschen always is. It has absolutely nothing to do with a virus which even the new normal authorities admit. The unvaccinated are no more of a threat to anyone than any other human being, except insofar as they threaten the new normal's belief in their delusional ideology. No, we are way past rationality at this point. We are witnessing the birth of a new form of totalitarianism, not communism, not fascism, well, maybe fascism, global capitalist totalitarianism, pseudo-medical totalitarianism, Totalitarianism, pathologized totalitarianism, a form of totalitarianism without a dictator, without a definable ideology, a totalitarianism based on science, on fact, on reality, which it creates itself. I don't know about you. But so far, it has certainly made quite an impression on me, so much so that I have mostly set aside my satirical shtick to try to understand this, what it actually is, why it is happening, why it is happening now, where it is going, and how to oppose it, or at least disrupt it. The way I see it, the next six months will determine how successful the initial stages of the rollout of this new totalitarianism will be. By April of 2022, either we will all be showing our papers to the new normal Gestapo to be able to earn a living attend a school, dine in a restaurant, travel, and otherwise live our lives, or we will have thrown a monkey wrench into the machinery. I do not expect Globo, Globo Cop to abandon the rollout of the new normal over the longer term. They are clearly committed to implementing it. But we have the power to ruin their opening act, which they have been planning and rehearsing for quite some time. So let's go ahead and do that, shall we? Before we get purged or unpersoned or whatever, I'm not sure as I have not seen a fact check yet but I believe there are some commercial airline pilots in the USA who are showing us the way. And then they have a link to that. 
So my guess is uh, I will be purged uh, by the powers that be here on this platform. I'm just poking the rattlesnake. Uh, my guess is this video will last, uh, if, if this video stays up three hours, I will be, uh, I will be amazed. Nowhere, anywhere in this article does CJ or have I ever said that the corona panic is not going to kill a shitload of people because on a planet of 8 billion people, 0.03% still sounds like a shitload of people. Nowhere in this article does CJ tell anyone not to get vaccinated. I have never said in my life, do not get vaccinated. I would never tell somebody, do not get the corona panic vaccine. If, if you uh, look at the same evidence that I have available to me and you decide that getting the vaccine is in your best interest, get the vaccine. This is still supposedly a free country. Anyway, who is C.J. Hopkins? C.J. Hopkins is an award-winning American playwright, novelist, and political satirist now based in Berlin. His plays are published, blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to have to check out more articles by C.J., but uh, amen, brother C.J. Hopkins for being able to articulate uh, exactly what I have been trying to say for how long. Uh, anyway, we will see how long that article, this video stays up. But with that, I've got to wrap this up and uh, change <clears throat> shirts here and come back with my ecological meltdown roundup rant over there in Collapse Chronicles. Coming up. Bye, guys.